Weekend full of events from football games to festival, at least before and after the storms. New at 5, 2 News reporter Liz Bryant breaks down what the event means for the local economy. From dancing at the Arkansas River to smoking some good old barbecue downtown. Really have created a vow following. I've talked to people visiting from Boston, from Detroit, from all over. Tulsa's busy weekend calendar didn't call for any rest for the city while everyone was relaxing. Saturday was our greatest attendance day ever in the history of the festival. More than 25,000 people came through this walkway at Rock and Rib Fest on Saturday alone. So if each of those 25,000 spent only $20 the entire day, that equals a profit of $42,000 in sales tax revenue for Tulsa. This was a domino effect. It's not just the people spending money out here on beer. It's people spending money on parking, hotel rooms. Like Mike and Murphy Elliott, they filled up their tank in Texas and drove up for the Oklahoma Scottish Festival. I came up last year for the first time and, and enjoyed it. These are very uh, well set up games. And with a steady pace of kilts, the festival's attendance is at 7000 at the same rate of $20 that equals nearly 12,000 for Tulsa sales tax funds. They look to bring more staff in and make sure that they have plenty of, of stock. With temporary increased employment numbers, spectators and all the out-of-town vendors are tipping Tulsa at one of the five festivals. It's for our community as a whole. We love it. And the numerous festivals will not only bring in big bucks for Tulsa, but also for local charities. For instance, here at the Scottish Festival, all leftover money will be donated to the Wounded Warrior Project and Help for Heroes. And here at the Rock and Rib Festival, all the proceeds from pink beer cells will go to Susan G. Coleman. Reporting in downtown. Tom Tulsa, Liz Bryant, 2 News works for you. And many of those festivals are still going on right now just for about another hour or so. For the last